Hello Aquarius, my name is Trudy. I'm your poor Jiu Gypsy Angel Medium and after this I'm gonna go to the beach um, or maybe I'll shoot another video. But anyways, this is your Aquarius reading for June 2021. Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any other placements you may be looking for, cross watchers, you're welcome. I'm using the Gilded Tarot. Thank you to those of you who like, share, comment, and subscribe. It helps the algorithms and it helps other people who need to see the Aquarius video see it. So like help the channel grow, leave me a comment, even if it's just an emoji, like, share, subscribe. And a very, very warm thank you to those of you who actually get exchanges of energy with me. I love a private reading. Um, so if you want a private reading, a private exchange of energies with me, click on the description box below. It's either on this side or this side. Sometimes the video flips, so I don't know what side it's going to be on. But it's like a little downward facing triangle. And it's, uh, it's got a drop down with a few options for you to choose from. And you make your selection, follow the instructions, get with me and we'll make it happen. So, Aquarius, I'm going to cut the deck. Let's, let's go ahead and cut the deck right there. So, bottom of the deck energy, Queen of Swords. You are standing in your very air energy, okay? I think of this as a Libra card, actually. So, you might benefit from watching the Libra reading. Maybe you have some Libra in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with the Libra. I don't know. Anyways, but this girl right here, this lady, this queen... She's got a sword. She's actually the only one of the queens who's armed. And she's ready to use that sword. Like, she's ready. Don't come at this queen with some BS because she, she's, her third eye, you see how her third eye is lit up? She has her BS detector turned on. And you had better not come at her with some BS or she's gonna chop her head off. Heads are gonna roll, right? So, oof. there's a situation that has you going on. It's heartbreak. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, but it could be. This is usually romantic. However, it's like involving three players, three parts, and all three parts are in pain. It involves a family, actually. Oh, and there's a union. There's like a divine union here. Somebody's got rabbits. The lovers. Um, I don't know. There's, okay. There's a few timelines here, okay? So, somebody is in a union with someone from their past life. And they finally have united. And what was, what was before this was heartbreak, was a three-way love triangle. That's one timeline. Another timeline. You are currently in a relationship. And someone from your past has returned. And the person from the past put you through the ringer the last time. And it's like a test now during the Mercury retrograde to see if you actually learned the lesson. I'm getting another timeline too. Hang on. So you could be the one returning because maybe you're the one that signed out the last time, Aquarius. I don't know, the roles could be reversed here, but there's something to the story that I'm saying, right? In that same timeline, like somebody was involving the other somebody in a three-way and the one who was doing the three-way stuff the extracurricular activity, so to speak, that individual is going to be doing the returning. Boom. 
that's the storyline. Okay. Ah, that was so hard to explain. Sheesh. Okay. Um... There's more. I just, it's so complicated. Damn, Aquarius, your reading is like. There's another timeline here. Hang on a second, okay. So you came out of heartbreak. Now you're enjoying the happy home life. And there's sexual healing coming for you in the month of July. Sorry, June. Maybe also July. Uh, so in this month, it's actually difficult for you to acknowledge how abundant you are. You need to take a moment and really give yourself a pat on the back because you've been doing some amazing work, Aquarius. And you need to acknowledge yourself. You need to acknowledge how wonderful and abundant you are and how connected you are and how sexy you are, yes, Aquarius, you are sexy AF. You are a sexy MFer. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, um, and we have the magician here. I love this card for you, Aquarius. Um, this makes me very excited for you because you're actually really good at doing this. You know, I learn from Aquariuses frequently. Let me say that. I learn from Aquariuses frequently. And... Aquarius is a really good at manifesting. So in the month of June, you are in manifestation mode. So watch your thoughts. Look how his thoughts are illuminated, right? And the predominant color here is going to be blue and green, also yellow, right? So I'm going to call it heart chakra and third eye chakra, okay? And what we're talking about here is creating you know, manifesting with your third eye from a place of your heart. And it's so incredibly important to manifest from your heart space. So Aquarius, whereas perhaps in the last chapter, you had disconnected from your emotions because it was more than you could deal with. In this chapter, you're being encouraged to acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge how far you've come. Acknowledge how beautiful and independent and valuable you are. Okay, and then also acknowledge your emotions. Acknowledge your emotions so that what you manifest and create is what you truly love and adore. I'm going to pull one more card for the outcome. Cut the deck again. Woo, Knight of Wands. Yeah, I was talking about that sexual healing, sexual. And this is the Knight of Rods. He's Mr. Bounchick. Wow, wow. Somebody is going to get their freak on. Yes. Freaky deaky. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to name the reading. I think it's going to be Freaky Deaky Aqua. <gasps> freaky Deaky June. I don't know. Something like that. Get your freak on. <laughs> I'm hearing so many things right now. It's too much. All right. I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah. Bye.